You are welcome to another video of the course network automation and service orchestration using Cisco NSO. In the previous section, we have installed Cisco NSO. So in this section, we will add some devices to be connected and managed through the NSO orchestrator. To add devices, it can be a real, physical or virtual devices or what we are going to do in this section to use NetSIM simulator devices, which is included in Cisco NSO software. I've already prepared a virtual Cisco IOS XE CSR1000V that will be used mainly during the course. I downloaded CSR1000 OVA file here from Cisco website and imported it into the VMware ES6 server. But in addition to CSR1000V, just to show, in this section I will add some devices via NetSIM simulator. We will use the existing packages to be loaded in NetSIM simulator. Here there is an example to add a network via NetSIM simulator. Don't forget first to set up environment variable using NCSRC before using a NetSIM simulator. If you have rebooted the NSO machine or using a new bash environment. Otherwise, you receive the message that the command does not exist. Let's enter the command and then paste. First, as an optional step, we delete the existing network in simulator using NCS NetSIM and delete network parameter. Then we add a new network using create network and add to network parameter and existing drivers in packages folder. In our example, we add three iOS devices, one ASA, one iOS XR, one NXOS and one Juniper devices. Then we will start the new network using NCS NetSIM start command. Let's check it together. Paste. Delete the network if it is already exists. I've already set up. The network is now deleted. iOS 3, iOS, iOS 0, iOS 1, iOS 2 one ASA devices, one iOS XR, and one NXOS, and finally one Jonas devices, and finally NetSIM start. During the course, we can configure NetSIM network devices through Cisco NSO software, but if you want to connect to the NetSIM network devices directly, you can use the command NCS NetSIM CLI and the name of the device that I will show you in a few minutes. Let's wait until the devices are started. Now the devices are started. As I have said, you can manage the devices, NetSIM devices through the Cisco NSO, but if you want to connect to the NetSIM devices directly, you can use the command NCS NetSIM and then CLI and then the name of the device. Here, for example, iOS 1. The option CLI I here means the Cisco iOS style. The other options are CLI and CLI C which in order means J style or Juniper style and Cisco iOS XR style. Now we are connected to the network NetSIM devices directly and we can enter some commands. For example, show running config. If you test some commands soon, you will notice that show IP interface brief and some very important commands are not working 
on NetSim devices. This is the limitation of NetSim simulator. And we have to know that there is such limitation in NetSim simulator devices. Now, we are ready to connect Cisco NSO to real and also NetSim simulated devices, which is the prerequisite to automate and orchestrate network services. This is the main topic of the next section. But before we move on to the next section, let's look at how to start Cisco NSO and NetSim devices after we restart NSO machine. Here, I prepared a bash script devnet cisco nso and then run nso netsim after restart this is a batch script how to start cisco nso and netsim devices after we restart nso machine set up the environment variable run the ncs command and then run the ncs netsim start command to load NetSIM devices and finally we connect to the NSO command environment. These are the four steps that you need to run after you have rebooted your NSO machine in the lab environment. Let's first restart the machine. Reboot. We have to wait for a few minutes. Now the machine is rebooted in DevNet and then Cisco NSO and again run NSO NetSim after restart. Let's run the script to see what happens. Set up NSO environment variable. In the next step run the NSO itself. It takes a few minutes. So I will pause the video, then you can see the next steps. Now NSO is started. Now starting NetSIM devices. It also takes a few minutes to start the NetSIM devices. So I will pause the video and start it again to see what will happen at the end. And this was the last device or this is the last device to be started. And now it's connected to the Cisco NSO CLI environment. Show packages, package and package version as an example to run a command in NSO CLI environment. 